Hi everybody, it's Nikki here and welcome to a makeup video. Today we are playing Panna's Bingo. This is hosted by Kana from Kana's Closet. I will link all the information you need for this project pan in the description box below this video. So please do check it out before you leave. So I am playing with bingo card number four. And this month, I knew it was going to happen. I think I said it in my last update that I am playing this as I'm only working on the numbers and their prompts and uh, products that have been called i am not i'm not working on any numbers that have not been called i know other people have been doing that but i just want to play it as it's as it's called um and i said in my last update that my numbers were gonna start dropping very very soon because I haven't had a lot of numbers being called for my particular card number. Um, at the most, I've maybe had one or two numbers called each month, which has been great because that means I've not been overcrowded. But I knew there was going to come a point where quite a few numbers were going to drop all at once. And this is that month that that happened. I got three numbers called this month. So I will be bringing in three new items to be working on for this project. However, I do have one item that is rolling out and that's not because I hit a goal. It's not because I finished the product. It's because the damn thing broke. <laughs> Now, I did show this in my This Is Fantasy because this palette was also in that project um, for other shades, but I believe I was working on this shade here. Um, and I was trying to finish it up. Uh, this was for the space B3. Now, <laughs> B3 has not been a very lucky square for me because originally I put my... Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadow in Issa into that square um, because the prompt was something that already had pan. However, Issa began to dry up on me and I couldn't use it. So until I could get that sorted, I swapped it out for this. But now this palette has broken. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm not about using a broken palette. It is my oldest palette in my collection. And I think... The poor thing is telling me, let me go, let me go, I I am done, I am old. Um, I am thinking I might scrape out this cream shade and this cream shade and repress them into like another um, pan uh, that I can use, but, um, but the other shades in this palette I am not too concerned about, so look it is what it is two items now for b3 have been like yeah no i'm not gonna work for you so <laughs> i'm counting b3 as done because i'm not bringing in something else to fulfill that prompt for a third time so i'm just calling that square done now on my bingo board and this palette is going in the bin where it belongs the poor thing is battered and bruised and just just wants to go so i'm going to listen and i am going to put it away and it's going in the bin uh so that is rolling out of the project uh so let's go on to the other products that were already in the project and then i will come to the products that are coming in this month so the first of those items is for square N38, a mini, not a sample. I have my NYX Lip Lingerie in Exotic. I'll give you a swatch. This thing is still going strong. I have pulled the stopper out, but this thing, it's going to keep going forever. I think... <sighs> I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this. Whatever happens, I think I'm going to uh, declutter this at the end of the year because it has had its stopper pulled out for a very long time. So I think it's going to start drying up soon anyway. Um, but 
I very rarely use it to be honest but it is a stunning colour. Uh, so it went from 11.06 to 11.03 and I used it just once in the last month. The next item uh, is my Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in Wifey. I will give you a swatch of this as well. It's extremely watery. I really don't like putting this on my lips because I'm always worried it's going to run into my mouth because it is so watery. It's You have to really shake it up. Uh, this is in for square G46, something black or white, and it's got a black lid. Uh, I used this three times in the last month. I'm really, really wanting to get this used up. I really do think uh, you can see some windowing there. So I really do think if I focus in on this, I could get this finished. And that would be a liquid lipstick out of my collection this year. Uh, so this has gone from 18.61 to 18.48. The next item I have not used at all because I was busy concentrating on a foundation mix that I had um, and so this one kind of got left by the wayside. Uh, this is for N32 Square for a complexion product and it's my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I have the shade 20 in Ivory and uh, we were up to here last month um, and we have no more usage on here at the moment um, because, let me get it the right way, uh, because as I said, I was concentrating on like a, a foundation mix that I had from another project pan and so I didn't get to use this. The one time that I could have used it, um, I was actually going uh, to the Waterstones Book Club actually and when I go out in public, I don't tend to wear a full uh, full coverage foundation anymore. I tend to turn to my number seven tinted moisturiser, which I feel just looks better on my skin. Um, when I'm filming, I can get away with a full coverage. But when I'm out in public, I tend to prefer my tinted moisturiser. So the one time that I could have used it, I was going out. So... Um, I, I didn't use it. Uh, so it remains at 102.12 grams. The next item uh, was for the Square G54 Colourful Eyeshadow. Um, and this came in last month and it is my um, iHeart Revolution The Little Mermaid Disney palette. And I am trying to do this no pan left behind style. So we have the face powders on one side and eyeshadows on the other. I'm actually wearing it for the first time today, so created this eye look. And also I have it as my uh, blush, my highlighter and actually my bronzer today. So um, for the blush, highlighter and bronzer, I actually used this one as my blush this one as my highlighter and this one as my bronzer. Now this one is actually supposed to be a, uh, a bronzy highlighter. It's classed as a highlighter according to the information on the palette. However, um, it looked fairly decent enough for me to use it as a bronzer. So I'm quite happy that I can use that as a bronzer. I will say that these powders really kicked up a lot of powder. As soon as I put my brush in it, there was powder everywhere. So I don't know how much is in each of these. Okay, so um, there is a total of 5.8 grams, I believe, in uh, all the blushes and then another 5.8 grams total in the highlighters, I believe. Uh, I don't think there's five grams in each one, but whatever. <laughs> At the rate that they were kicking up powder, I think I could actually pan these really, really easily. Um, and then the same thing happened with the eyeshadow. Sorry, it's got glare on it because I, I keep the plastic on it to keep them as they are so powdery um to keep them from like mixing in with each other anyway uh 
With the eyeshadows today, I used Scuttle just to whiten up my eye base. Then I used uh, the yellow flounder uh, in my crease. And then to deepen my crease, I used the red in Sebastian, which actually ended up becoming a little pinkish on my eyes, mixed in with the yellow. And then I used Adela on the inside of my eye here, going to the uh, inner half. And then the other side was seaweed on the outer corner. Um, so yeah, that was the eye look that I created today. I really like it. Um, I was trying to stay up in this area so that I could move down and next time I'll make an eye look with these. Um, I obviously didn't use the blue today. Um, I could have, I suppose, put it in my inner corner crease, uh, not in my in my inner corner highlight to make it a little bit jazzy but I didn't um, so maybe next time um, I will I will use the blue here and the purple there and then this color here I think because uh, I've used this color this color this color this color and this color um, so yeah um, I really liked the eye look I made today actually very very pretty um, so yeah um, <clears throat> No weights for this palette because it's too much for my weighing scales. Um, but I actually enjoyed this palette today. I really do like those greens on my eyes. I thought they really popped. I do have an eyeshadow stick from e.l.f. underneath um, that is in my Fifty Shades of Green project pan. Um, it's a green eyeshadow stick, so I thought that would help make the green eyeshadows pop a bit more. Um, so, yeah. Um that was that one so the three numbers that are coming in to this project uh the first one called was n40 and that was for an underrated product now i couldn't really think of anything for this uh prompt so what i thought was what is a makeup product that i don't think a lot of people talk about and i don't think a lot of people use but i do tend to use them quite often and I thought lip pencils lip pencils don't get very much attention um but they can really enhance a look they can really change a lipstick um if you have a lipstick shade that doesn't quite suit you putting a colored lip liner on underneath can help you change the color of the lipstick on top and that is exactly what i have done today with this sleek lip liner in deep cherry it is an extremely dark lip liner and i don't have very much of it left it was in a previous project pan and i am determined that this year is the year i'm going to finish it so it is that shade there and so what i've done with it today is i lined my lips and then i put on a urban decay lipstick sample that i have in another project pan uh, in the shade psycho which is like a bright pink and I put it on my lips on top of the deep cherry lip liner and created this beautiful ombre kind of lip. So it's darker around the edges and then goes brighter into the middle. And I just thought it looks so, so pretty. As you know, I love my dark lipsticks. Uh, I love a good, bold lipstick but I like them to be deep and bold rather than bright and bold. That is not my style. Uh, so being able to use a darker lip liner to make a brighter lipstick darker for me is definitely a trick that I love to use. And I think it's a very underrated trick that people do use in the makeup community. So I'm putting this in. Uh, this currently weighs 5.11 grams. The next number that I got called was B1, and the prompt for that is hardest to pan. Not a great time to be bringing this in because it's gonna take me forever, um, but I have decided to bring in a red lipstick. 
Uh, now I did ask in my This Is Fantasy what I should do going forwards for the rest of the year. I had a red lipstick in This Is Fantasy, which was a KVD red lipstick um, and it's a mini and I thought if I continue to try and use this for the rest of the year, I could possibly finish it up and get a lipstick out of my collection. However, I do have Max Ruby Woo. I have this much left and I'll give you a swatch. It looks like that. Um, but this one is probably my oldest lipstick now in my collection it was gifted to me by my daughter so it has a sentimental attachment as well and out of the kvd lipstick and this mac lipstick i would be more upset if the mac lipstick went bad before i could use it than if the kvd lipstick went bad before i could finish it um, so I decided I was going to put this one into this project for hardest to pan because me wearing a red lipstick, what did I just say? I don't do bright lips. So a bright red lipstick, although this is sort of a, a bluey red lipstick, um, it's not my style. So this is going to be hard for me, um, but I'm putting a usage goal on this of 22 uses. It's going to be hard. It's going to be in here for a while, but hey, it's not like I'm going to hit uh, bingo anytime soon. So we might as well keep it going for a while. So 22 uses for Max Ruby Woo. And the last item being brought into the project might be a bit of a gimme product maybe um and that is for square i29 and this one is a category that i want to eliminate and the category that i want to eliminate is tub oh, let me put her the right way my girl ursula uh tub lip balms i hate having to stick my finger into these damn things and get it under my nails and everything like that um there isn't much left of this so I think I could really finish this off in this project. Um, by the way, the MAC Ruby Woo starts off at 20.14 grams. Just forgot to say that. Um, this one is starting off at 15.21 grams. I don't think it's going to take me too long to finish it. As I say, there is not much left. Um, but I want to eliminate these types of lip balms from my collection because I don't like getting my fingers stuck in there. Um, I much prefer like the ones that are in a stick that I can just apply like a lipstick um, rather than having to stick my fingers in. Uh, so yeah, that is that. So that is my update for Panas Bingo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.